Well, welcome to a special segment of Tiakau TV. Um, we're, going, we're going to call this um, the Tiakau Yelling um, Spotlight as we cover off some of the great purchases of the Caracas sale with um, Tiakau Principal David Ellis. How are you getting on, David? Yeah, we've had a really busy day. Uh, lots of people, lots of interest in the horses, a lot of new owners, a lot of re existing owners that are reinvesting. And it's really fun. I've just been out feeding the horses their, uh, their dinner. And um, to see the horses that we've got to have in the stable in years to come to train is really the most exciting thing that can happen when you're in my position. It's just so exciting to see so many high quality yearlings that will have six weeks here on the farm spelling and then they'll go to be broken in. Fantastic. Well, there you have it. And just a quick wrap up of the sale or the week that's been at the sale. And this is after book one. Obviously, there's a couple more purchases to come. But so far, you have purchased 27 lots at a total of $6.115 million. Um, there's been a total of 16 fillies, 11 colts, and the prices range from $30,000 up to um, the highest price yielding of the sale with a million dollar filly as well. Um, do you want to just comment on, on, on the range of fillies and colts that you purchased and found at the sale? You know, I think in New Zealand racing, it's important to have a balance of colts and fillies. Fillies get very well handicapped in New Zealand. They have a two kilo claim in every race and they can not only race in, in the Derby and, and the 2000 guineas, but they have races that are specially uh, set for fillies only, like the 1000 guineas, like the Oaks, um, like... Um, there's many other races uh, that we have in New Zealand that are for fillies only. So, you know, I think it's important to have a balance of Coltons and fillies. And one of the fillies that really took my eye was a Kermadec filly uh, out of Empress uh, Sea. And um, this is a Sharmadale mare, and that's a very, very good sire who's out of a Gone West mare. Crystal Maze, and um, Crystal Maze uh, has been a very good broodmare, and it's a family that uh, has had a lot of success in New Zealand and Australia, and I didn't think this filly was too expensive at 180000 So a 10% share is going to be about 20000 plus GST, and a 5% share is going to be half that. And but David, look at the filly, he is a cracker. David, you've had some success with the Kermadex already this year with um, Trobriand um, winning the Carlaw Park Eclipse Stakes and then obviously ran out as the favourite in the Kraka Million to, to run a very credible third. Um, you've obviously got had your eye on the, the Kermadex stock for a while now um, and does this filly tick all the boxes? Yeah, she certainly does. She is a ripper of a filly, uh, as you can see. And um, it's just exciting to have fillies of this quality in the stable. And I guess Kermadec as a sire, um, he was um, twice a winner at the at the mile, um, winning the Doncaster Handicap and, of course, the George Main Stakes. So um, this is a filly that um, may be up and running as a two-year-old, but I can imagine will um, train on and um, look to get up towards a mile there as a three-year-old as well. Exactly. She um, looks a strong, precocious filly but she also has enough scope and size to go on and be a really good three-year-old. And, uh, you know, she could be a, a, another Oaks filly for Tiakia. That's the sort of filly she is. Great. Well, there you have it. There's um, Lot 156, the Kermadec Empress Easy um, Chestnut Philly, um, 180000 As David mentioned, um, there's some prices on the website. You can get a 10% share in her for $19,000 plus GST. Um, and as you as you mentioned, David, she's really good buying. Um, and funnily enough, the next horse that we're, um, we're going to look at is exact, exactly 100 lots apart. So this was Lot 256, um, the Castel Vecchio Irish Goodbye um black or brown colt and um he was um he was two hundred thousand dollars david yep this is a another colt uh with a beautiful pedigree out of a fast net rock mare out of a northern meteor mare uh just beautiful pedigree and um this 
cult uh, was on our must-have list, and um, we think that um, he's going to be a cult that could be a size produce cult in the autumn, and definitely a 2,000 guineas cult that we'd like to think we could take to Sydney uh, in the autumn for races like the um, Rose Hill Guineas, which we've already won, and um, those sort of races we'd like to think that he was up to uh, running in. We bought this colt from Lansdowne Park, a very good adjustment farm uh, in the Ohaupo area. And um, I've bought some really nice horses from them in the past. And uh, I expect this colt to go on and be a very successful racehorse. Well, David, if, if there's two things I know you love, it's um, the Fastnet Rock influence. So the dam is out of, obviously, you mentioned a Fastnet Rock mare, and you, of course, Avantage flew the flag as an um, Fastnet Rock mare for the stable. And, of course, you like first foals as well. Yeah, I do. And also the second dam is by Northern Meteor, who's by Costa de Lago, who's probably my favourite sire uh, in a pedigree. And uh, so this cult uh, really ticks every box for TRKL. And um, Karen and I are really thrilled to have him uh, in the stable uh, at the farm. We're selling shares in him at the moment. So if you want to be involved in a pretty exciting cult that we've personally chosen, uh, just give us a ring anytime. You can get all our contact numbers on our website. So email or, or uh, text or phone us, you'll be made to feel very welcome. Absolutely. And I, I guess just touching quickly, there is some speed on the dam side there. It's the half-sister of the Samaredi, who was the dam of Exhilarates, who was trained by James Cummings. So that horse won the Magic Millions two-year-old race, which was a $2 million race. So this is one that could definitely be up and running early as well. Um, and as David mentioned, there are still shares available. So 55% um, left to sell as of um, leading into the weekend. Um, a ten percent share um, in him is um, ten percent. Sorry, is twenty one thousand dollars plus GST, and you can find all of that information on the website as well. But um, there you have it: two cracking, um, two cracking yearlings, a, a lovely filly, and a, a cracking colt as well. So, um, if you want to be involved, these are the first two that we've picked off in our um, Tiakau TV yearling spotlight for the week, but we'll be coming again to you next week with another two to, to cover off as we as we kick through um, the weeks outside of the sale. Um, so thanks for joining us, David, um, and we'll catch you again next week. Yeah, I think, Hazy, the bottom line is that we're just staggered how quickly these horses are selling. So if anybody's interested, don't leave it till tomorrow. Get in touch with us now, and uh, you'll be staggered how welcome you are made to feel. There you have it. So pick up the phone over the weekend or get in touch through the website. Um, David or Karen would be more than happy to talk to you. Um, and thanks for your time, um, DC, and we'll, and we'll catch you again um, next week, mate. Okay, thanks, Hazel.